So hi, Nathan. Hi. How are you doing? Not bad, thanks. Very tired. <laughs> we are here at Synthfest, and uh, you're going to show us your new uh, all-in-one voice, right? That's right, yes. So this is a um, 16 HP monophonic synthesizer voice. It's all through-hole, discrete, no voice chips, and you've got a single oscillator, you've got a 24 dB low-pass OTA filter, and you've got a VCA, which is transistor-based, and an envelope, which is Moog-style with the decay and release on the same knob, uh, like a three-stage. Um, so that's a complete synth voice in 16 HP. Um, at the moment, you can see four in this cabinet. Um, this is going to be a polyphonically capable system. So that the idea is to have a voice set up with four of these, a system rather, set up with four of these. So you've got a MIDI input, which will take velocity, pitch bend after touch, and has an LFO. The control will be bussed to all the four voices, and the audio will come out the far end. So to set up a four voice polysynth, you only need a MIDI input and a quarter inch jack output to a mixer. Um, and all the other bussing is done behind the scenes. So are the, are the modules like uh, connected to one another then? Or? They will be, yeah. In yeah. the poly system, yes. Right. Although they are completely standalone as a monophonic voice. So if you want to buy one, stick it in a system, it will hook up using the normal patch points as you would with any other system. So um, is, it, is, it, is, the, is the voice based on anything in particular? Does it take influence from any other kind um, of...? It's not based on anything specific, no. I mean, I'm influenced by old Roland and ARP stuff. And there's a hint of that in the design as well, in the red and white graphics. Um, but it is my own design throughout. Um, it's a 24 dB low pass OTA. Um, so it has a certain kind of characteristic. But it's got a certain kind of drive and a certain kind of feedback when you crank the resonance, um, which has hopefully its own character. So should we hear a bit of it then? Yeah, sure. Currently, this is set up on a sequencer, which is just a little DIY hack. Um, and it's just playing a short sequence, and I'll manipulate some of the controls a little while we play through. Perfect, yeah. OK, ready? So this is on a pulse width modulated wave. There's envelope modulation to the pulse width, down to square wave, and then swept up. turn the oscillator off and just have a filter. So is the, the filter uh, receiving the same sequence right, at the moment, right? Sorry? Well, the filter is uh, receiving a sequence at the moment. Yeah, I've yeah. just multed the pitch CV to the pitch and the filter cut off. So when it's set up as a polysynth, this will have um, all the controls for modulation will be bussed. Um, but when it's a single monophonic voice like this, you just have to melt things in. Brilliant. So uh, you, do you have a kind of timeline for when you're hoping it to be ready? Uh, taking orders for the first batch. Um, and the polyphonic system will hopefully be finished and available for Christmas. Um, looking at a price point of around £500 for a voice module, um, yet to decide for the full poly. And uh, where, where can people kind of find out more if they want, if they want to? Well, there's the website skullmodular.com. Um, as of today, it's not quite up yet. But if you wish to email me, info at skullmodular.com, that will get through to me. And hopefully the website will be up in a couple of weeks. Brilliant. Well, Nathan. All right. Thank you very much. OK. Thank you. <laughs>